This is a water chestnut. It's a leafy vine that packs a deadly punch. Water chestnut plants are becoming a serious threat to the Charles River, a problem for aquatic life and boaters. Certainly for plant, other plants and animals, it just cuts out all the sunlight that can get into the water, so nothing else can really grow where it is. For people, it can grow up to uh, 10 feet deep, so that if you're boating, you can be sort of prevented from getting to the shore if it, when it gets really dense. Co-owner of Charles River Canoe and Kayak Center, Larry Smith, says the funding wasn't available this year to remove the water chestnuts from the river. So volunteers are taking the matter into their own hands, literally. They're scouring the Charles and canoes to rid it of this leafy menace. Volunteers have pulled about a thousand buckets of these noxious weeds out of the river today. Aquatic experts estimate that hundreds of thousands still remain. It's a very prolific plant. One acre can produce enough seeds for 100 acres the next year. Smith says time is running out. Around mid-August, water chestnut plants begin dropping spiky seeds like this one into the bottom of the river. The vine's at a manageable stage for now, but if left alone, it has the potential to wreak havoc on the ecosystem, destroying plants and fish life. In Newton, I'm Mary Stackhouse.